So today, a popular news source for Apple News 9to5Mac received leaked iOS 14 code. Now this code revealed a ton of information about what's coming in iOS 14 and kind of the product lineup for Apple moving forward in 2020. So there's a whole lot to talk about today, but before we get started, definitely leave a like on the video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button to get updates on when we release content. That way you won't miss any iOS 14 content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so as I said before, a lot of things have been discovered within this code from iOS 14. Now, one of the features that we should be seeing is new accessibility features for iPhones, iPads, whatever device you may have. So this, these accessibility features will include um, basically support for people with hearing loss to get notifications on their devices when uh, their device senses like a door knock, doorbell, um, sirens, alarms of any kind. It will give them a notification of what's going on around them because obviously they cannot hear. Now this is absolutely amazing. I think being uh, having that brought to the Apple Watch would be a fantastic feature simply because we already have fall detection we have um, some heart arrhythmia detection as well. I think that would be a great health feature to add to the Apple Watch, simply because this is something that you'll be taking everywhere. So kudos to Apple for that. I really hope to see um, some expansion on accessibility features as that is becoming a growing issue. Now, next up is wallpapers. And obviously with iOS 14, we'll be getting new iOS 14 dedicated wallpapers, but that's not the major redesign that we're talking about here. Apple is actually going to separate their wallpapers into different categories. Right now we have basically all the wallpapers uh, kind of spread out into one list and Apple will be dividing those up into different categories like flowers, planets, etc. So with this new change, that is very exciting. I think that because they're splitting it up into categories, Apple might be adding a lot more wallpapers than they originally do. And what's even better is Apple is allowing third-party support to basically integrate uh, photo libraries into iOS wallpapers. So that's really cool. I do expect app developers to basically create apps to um, you know, send the wallpapers to you. Um, you might have like a subscription there, I don't know. But it looks like you will be able to import packs of wallpapers into iOS and use those for your main wallpapers instead of going into your photo library and having to you know, move those around to make your perfect wallpaper. So that is good news for um, iOS 14, hopefully a little bit more customization in the near future. Now, one of the biggest changes that 9to5Mac discovered was a complete redesign to the home screen. Now, we didn't really see anything about um, icons being moved wherever they want, but 9to5Mac discovered a new home screen layout page that basically has all of your um, apps in list view. Now you can organize these according to unread or read messages or notifications. So that would be really cool. And we actually have a render of what that might look like in a in actual iOS 14 format. So if it does look anything like this, I'm definitely signed up for it. I think Apple will continue tweaking that. But if it looks anything like what you see on screen, that might present the case to eliminate the notification center completely. So. Who knows what Apple is going to do. The notification center seems a little bit outdated now, and it would be nice to see this redesign and have that push to the left, maybe in place of the widgets page. Now, another thing that Apple is working on in regards to the home screen is in this layout where you can basically search for your notifications, apps, and everything like that, there will be a revamped Siri uh, suggestion page. So Siri suggests different apps and everything like that right now based upon time and location. But in this uh, kind of like iteration of iOS 14, um, it will be a lot smarter. So the AI will just present things a lot more smartly based upon your location and time of day. Basically, it's going to be getting smarter. We don't really see anything um, regarding a complete redesign of the Siri suggestions menu. Now, another big change is facial recognition coming to HomeKit and a slew of other HomeKit uh, new features that will be coming in iOS 14. So Apple is continuously working on iOS 14 HomeKit simply because there are so many products flooding the market like cameras, doorbells, and everything like that that are flooding the market with HomeKit support. There are homes being made now 
that actually support HomeKit. So Apple obviously wants to uh, kind of revamp HomeKit, uh, make sure that there's the latest and greatest new features within HomeKit to ensure that people have the best experience possible. Now I did save the best for last because 9to5Mac discovered new devices within iOS 14 code. So number one, we have the new iPad Pro coming in 2020 that will have the three camera array just like the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And it will also have the time of flight sensor to allow for different AR compatibility, basically more advanced AR um, experiences. So I do expect Apple to be releasing this actually within the next couple of weeks at their um, you know, time of date where they had the March event. That is likely canceled now, but I do expect there to be a press release announcing the new iPad Pro with these features. Now, as far as the new chip design and everything like that, um, we might be seeing something new, but there's not too much information within this code about other design changes to the iPad Pro. So it looks like it might just be um, the iPad Pro that we have today with that three camera array and the time of flight sensor and maybe some upgraded internals. Now, another device that was discovered by 9to5Mac is the iPhone 9. This is super exciting because they did discover that the iPhone 9 will be supporting Touch ID, so it will likely resemble what we are seeing in like the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, but will come at a much cheaper price. Now, this device is kind of aimed at people with iPhone 6 or earlier devices simply because they are not going to be compatible with iOS 13 or iOS 14. So Apple wants to get them on the newest and latest uh, software, but also give them a cheaper price point to buy at versus spending like over a thousand dollars on a phone. So that is super exciting. There's no news as to when this is going to come out. It might be later in September, but according to all reports, the iPhone 9 should be coming within the next few months. Now, the next thing that was discovered is in relation to the Apple TV. Now, in iOS 13 code, 9to5Mac already discovered that there would be a new Apple TV inbound this year. Now, the Apple TV definitely needs an upgrade, but what are they going to upgrade? No one has ever really found out, even within this code. So we have yet to see some of the new features and changes with the Apple TV, but what 9to5Mac discovered in iOS 14 code was actually reference to a new Apple TV remote experience. So Apple definitely needs to upgrade their remote. It's getting a little bit old and navigation through the remote is very, very tricky. So this is a redesign that is very welcome and hopefully we'll be seeing that within the next few months here as a redesign of the remote is desperately needed. So guys, those were all of the leaks that basically came from this code from iOS 14, courtesy of 9to5Mac. There will be links in the video description down below to these articles. 9to5Mac has done an amazing job, and hopefully we do see all of these iOS 14 leaks come to a first beta version. That would be really nice to see, and hopefully a whole lot more features as well. If you liked today's video, definitely leave a like on the video. Also, get subscribed and hit that notification bell button to get updates on when any iOS 14, iOS 13 content is released. You will not want to miss out on that. And then also we have product reviews coming in the near future. So guys, thank you for watching today's video and hopefully I'll be catching you guys in some upcoming content.